so uh, one of the things about making a film is you want to get an idea for what the film's going to be like. So I want to show you a couple of uh, films that I thought were quite inspirational for the way they looked or they felt. The first one I'm going to show you is a film which was shot by um, a Berlin comp company called uh, from Om Studios, um, and they produced this really amazing film called The Ninja Shoot with Epic, which was a uh, red Epic camera on an octocopter flying around this amazingly kind of desolate urban environment. Um, and I actually thought the way that the way the film looks and feels, the way the camera is moving is absolutely brilliant. And one of the reasons we want to bring the film to Edinburgh is to capture some urban environment that is a bit run down, but also capture some of the really gothic side of the city. I'll be putting a link to this online, but as you can see, it's it's got a really, really stylistic feel. The camera floats along and I'd love to get some of this into first and only. The other film which I will quickly show you is um, a film by Biting Elbows. One of the things that is amazing about the whole thing is the way that the camera flows and um, it's basically one continuous shot. And it's very immediate. It's very much from the uh, perspective of somebody who's being chased and having to get out of uh, an, uh, an environment. So again, so some of the chase sequences in First and Only, I can see us doing something interesting with these sorts of styles of shooting, which are only just coming out because of these lightweight cameras, um, where you can have um, amazing chase sequences where your character kicks out the window of a car, then climbs through the front of the car window, jumps over the car in front and all that sort of stuff. It's a, you know, a fascinating way to make a film and it captures in a very exciting way a chase sequence. Here we see you can, he rolls out of the car, the other guy rolls out the car, the camera spins around and the car blows up. Um, beautifully done, uh, amazingly to see it done as one sequence like that. And so um, that I think, I think is a really exciting way to look at some of the sequences within the film as well. Anyway, that was just a quick idea of some of the sequences that might be involved within um, First and Only. Bikinis, of course, may not be featuring in First and Only.